Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Thanks for hopping on. Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday Live with me. Thanks for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, send me a hello. I love seeing your comments, especially before we get started. It's just, a, it's just a great way to get started, to say hello to all of you out there who are so supportive and watch these tutorials. I love doing them for you. So let me get my comments set up here. It's just a little delayed on the iPad, so okay here we go i see you and as you can tell i am not in my office i am actually um at the beach you guys and wow is it a beautiful day here uh, i don't know how many of you have been to the oregon coast but it is absolutely beautiful and we only live about an hour about an hour and 15 minutes from the beach so it's really fun to come over here and i really have been working like crazy so i haven't just been sitting enjoying the view but um, I don't know, maybe you can hear the waves crashing in the background, but um, it's so beautiful here. Okay, I see you all on now. So I'm checking my comments here. Uh, Valerie, hello from Edmonton. Hello, say hi to my daughter. Um, Erm, hello. Jeanette, hello. Dee, hello. Uh, Deanna, hello. Carol, Debbie, Jackie. Ruthann, hello, Ruthann. Ruthann is in the house. Barbara Mayer, hello, Kathy. Uh, so fun to see all the familiar names, you guys. I mean, I feel like you're here, so I can say good to see you, right? Because, um, you know, I feel like we're all together. Georgia is in the house. Good morning, Georgia. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Debbie. Debbie Hedges from Salem in my backyard. Uh, Georgia says, wish she was here. I know, it is absolutely beautiful. We get a lot of rain here, but I tell you, there's nothing like the beach when it's beautiful and sunny. It is absolutely amazing. So if I can't be inspired here, I, I don't know where I can be inspired. So I do get a lot of work done here. Uh, Cindy, hello from Virginia. Terry, hello. Valerie, hello. Linda, um, so good to see all of you on here. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Jane. Hello, Chris. Cindy, hi, all of you guys. Andrea, hello. Dorothy, hello. Wow, thank you guys all for joining me. So I am going to do another foundations uh, this week. I'm going to do the uh, the door. So this one right here, I've done two now. I've actually done the, um, the potting bench. I did that on a, a Facebook Live. The uh, wooden table is now on YouTube. So that tutorial is on YouTube. This one will also be on YouTube. And then I have one more to go. So there are four in this series. If you haven't seen this, this is the door we're gonna do today, the wood door. Uh, this is the wood table. This is on YouTube now. Uh, this one, the potting bench, is on Facebook, archived on Facebook, and also on YouTube. And the cha chairs, I have not done this one yet. I love, love, love this one. So I will be doing that one too. So um, some of you may have tried to order these sets. We sold out of them really, really quickly and they have been out of stock. So I am so sorry if you have tried to get on and order these sets, these foundations, and you got a big glaring out of stock message uh, when you tried to order them. We have heard now from our supplier that it is going to be weeks and weeks before they are back in stock. So we have decided to offer them in rubber cling. They are now available on our website in rubber and they are available to ship. So here's what you need to do. Uh, go to foundations. It's the same SKU and the same price. If you want to order these and they have been out of stock, uh, for example, this is the one we're gonna be doing today. This is 5433, and I know this is backwards. Uh, 5433 Watercolor Foundations Door. Now this one will say out of stock, it's clear but the rubber will be 5433R, 5433R for rubber. So same SKU and same price. So if you want to go to our website, it's been out of stock, you haven't been able to order these, all four foundations are now available in rubber 
and are now available. So that is my good news for you, is that uh, we just are not gonna wait nine weeks <laughs> to get these back in stock. That's just crazy, but you know what? It's just kind of the way of the times right now, and it's been really hard to get our product in, and we've kind of been struggling ever since the pandemic, as I'm sure uh, you know thousands of other businesses have been and continue to. So we're gonna kind of work around that, and uh, we're gonna make these available in rubber. They, work, of course, work the same way. And if you uh, want the clear and you don't want the rubber cling, you know, by all means, you know, wait. If you would like to wait, it's we are hoping to have them back in by the end of August. So um, if you really want the clear, they will be back in stock. We will have them back in stock, but it's gonna be a while before we get them back in. So uh, in the meantime, you can get them in rubber. So good news. And I am going to be doing this one, so the doorway. Uh, some of you are saying, okay, uh, Debbie Hedges, oh, AI is the best. Thank you guys so much. I That is so frustrating to want to order something and can't get it. And these just are so fun. They're just so fun. And I really want to get through all four of them so that you have a tutorial on or all four. Now, this sample here on the packaging, it's got a lot of florals in it. Uh, for the tutorial today, I've done a lot more uh, foliage instead of flowers. Now, you don't have to make them all bright and multicolored. You can do a lot with just foliage. So I'm going to show you that today. And I hope you um, like this tutorial. It is super fun. Uh, Sheila says, I have clear but prefer rubber. Uh, yes, you're going to love this. Rubber is, is great. It will work great. And uh, the price will be the same you guys, so you can just go on there. Make sure you are hitting the 5433, uh, the SKU number with the R after it. And you'll see, if you try to order the clear, it'll say out of stock, but uh, right next to it will be the SKU with the R after, and that's the rubber, and you can, you can get that one. So all that being said, let's get going on our tutorial. Let me show you what, what I, which one we're doing. So here is, here is the door, and you can see uh, it's got a lot more greenery in it. We're going to make that little topiary in the front. We're going to make the little wreath on the door. And this is a very simple color palette, but I think that's really fun too. And I hope you guys that have these and are making them, I hope you're framing them because uh, they're made to, made to be framed, you know? And by the time you get everything into it, it's just so fun because the bones are there, the foundation's there, and all you're doing is just kind of filling in the blanks. So, I mean, super, super easy. <clears throat> okay, you guys, are you ready to get started on this project? I'm gonna switch my camera around, and um, I hope I don't. This is always just the most precarious part here to make sure I'm not cutting you off. Um, okay, so let me just hook up my camera here, get my project out and get myself set up. <clears throat> and I can still see my comments, so um, if you guys have questions, uh, please put them on here. Um, I'm sure we have uh, AI people on who can uh, answer your questions. If I don't see them, and then I will go back and see if there are any questions that I haven't, uh, that I haven't addressed, you know, while I've been on here. <clears throat> So let me just make sure, I always just wanna make sure that I'm not off screen uh, when I do this project. So here is the door. Here are the others, okay? So here's the door, that's the one we're gonna be doing. And <clears throat> so you have this option, you've got this sample here, so you can see how to add all the flowers, all the foliages and everything in. And then now we're going to do this one that has a lot more greenery in it. So there are just, you know what, I'm just trying to show you guys like all the different ways that you can, um, that you can stamp these. Just so fun. Okay, I think I'm good here. I'm gonna just zoom in just a tad um, and just make sure that I am in the center of the screen. There's, these are such big projects, but I wanna make sure that you guys can see. And I'll try to hold things up as I go. Now this is a this is about a six by six. Um, what happened here? There we go. I lost you guys. 
okay, this is about a six by six piece of watercolor paper, Canson, of course, my paper of choice. Uh, I love that paper. Uh, now you, it doesn't matter what size you're using. Now I think I have on this one, I think I have the smooth side, but really the textured side is fine too. Now I have went ahead and stamped it just because, just for time's sake, and I always feel like I go too fast. So I want to try to slow down these tutorials so that you can follow. And uh, so I, I tried to do some things ahead of time. Now I'm going to use some masking fluid. This is the Molotov mask pen. And I just added a few little dots in here with my mask pen just so that I could get it dry. And I went ahead and stamped this. Now you do need to use a stamp platform. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, I use the Misty, so this one here. Just because these things are so big, we don't have a block that big to uh, stamp it. If you don't have a, a Misty, I mean, you can use your palette if you have a palette. You can you can use that. I have done that uh, when I've been uh, really desperate. So you can use a palette, but I would suggest um, some kind of stamp platform. This is a Misty, but there are other ones out there, and you probably most of you probably have one. They're so handy. And uh, you will need to stamp it, you know, using some, some sort of um, aid like that. Uh, now, I'm using two colors, same, same as before. So the 969 and the 565. And I did the 565 first, the 969 second. And then I stamped it off. Now, that's the nice thing about the stamp platform is you can, you can just keep stamping. So... Uh, I stamped it once, stamped it off again, and if you like it really light, I think this one, this sample, is actually stamping it off three times. So it just depends on whether you like that really soft, soft look or you like more of definition. Now this one is the second one, so we're going to kind of do one in between, the really soft one and then the dark. So I do think that the dark, the first impression is too dark uh, for these types of projects, but again... You know, this is your work and, you know, your, um, your style. So you can do it however you would like. Okay, so we've got that stamp. Let me show you what else I've used. Uh, very simple. Obviously, I've used this one, 5433, three, the door. Now, 5433R for the rubber version, if you want to order that now. Uh, I've also used some of these from the foliage set. I've used this one, this one the grasses, uh, and, uh, and the small. So these four right here. In this set, uh, the two, the small vines, the two grasses, and this, this little floral branch here, or excuse me, floral, leafy branch right here. And then in here, I use this, I use this one right here, this little um, palm, palm frond. I use that one just to kind of mix it up and to give it a little more texture. You can see I used it right here. And, you know, there are so many different things that you can use with these now. It's really fun to, you know, pick up something that maybe you haven't used in a while and try it because um, they're just, you know, they just change so much just by using uh, different things. So I use this one right here. And then I use this uh, in the branches set, I used the small one, and then I used this. And I used it in here, in this container, and I just used the middle part. So just basically this little section in here. And I'll show you when we get to that. Okay. Wow. All that is done. Let's get going on our project. And let's stamp this door because it is so fun. It is so fun to do, and I will try, I, like I said, I'll try to slow things down a little bit. I know some of you are following along, are going to try to follow along with me, so I will try to um, take my time a little bit. Okay, so I have got this stamped on here. Uh, I used my Molotov, and I got my little dots in, and now I'm going to just pull the color out of the line. So I'm going to get my water here, and let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit here. I think I can. There we go. I think I'm still in screen here. So let me just make sure. Okay, there we go. I think I'm, yep, I'm good. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not on screen, off screen. All right, let's get started. And we're going to uh, pull the color out of the lines. Now this is, this is just kind of the starting point. 
Uh, we just do this and it kind of gives us an indication of, you know, what's, what's going on here. Uh, it makes everything look three dimensional. So that's always a good start. And just kind of follow along. Remember you're going alongside the lines, you're not tracing the lines. So you're just pulling that color kind of to the center. And just kind of working your way around. Uh, you don't have to be careful on this. Uh, you know, we're gonna come back in, we're gonna do a lot to this picture. So this is just kind of the starting, starting point. And we can pull it to the inside, we can pull it to the outside. And you can see it's really starting to look three-dimensional here. Now, you know, on this, this little window frame here, I'm pulling it down below. That's where the shadow would be. So I'm kind of dragging this color out to the bottom. You know, always think about the color coming straight down or the light coming straight down. So your shadow is always going to be under. Always going to be under. Here's our little steps here. We're just going to just get the basic um, color in here. And under here, the little rocks, you know, that highlight on these little rocks, so important. And you can see how that, wow, that changes already. I don't know, you know, doing this part, it's, it's, it's kind of encouraging because you feel like, okay, this is starting to look like something and not just a picture. It's actually starting to look three-dimensional. So uh, I always feel like that's kind of a good boost. You know, it makes you kind of feel like, okay, let's keep going here. We've got this. We've got this, you guys. So fun. You know, and especially if you think that, you know, I'm you're not an artist, you've never done anything like this, you know, maybe you're new to this technique and you've never tried it. It's amazing how many artists there are that don't think they are. You can you can do this. You know, it, it's really, really simple. There's a few basic rules, but, you know, once you get those rules down, I mean, you're really good to go. You're really good to go. Okay, so let's get started now adding some foliage in here. That's the fun part. That's always the fun part. Let's start out with this little topiary. And I'm going to just take my dark brown. So this is my 969, and I'm just going to make a couple of lines in here, just kind of in the center not too tall because I want to fit this topiary in here and I don't have a lot of space. So I don't want to go too tall on that. And then I'm going to take my, my small, uh, my small foliage. Now this is in the basic foliage set and I'm only going to use part of it because I don't want this, um, little topiary to get out of control here. So I'm just going to stamp both sides just like this and then add water to it. You can shape it a little bit too. You know, if you don't get it quite rounded or you're you're not quite happy with the shape, uh, you can pull some of the color out, you know, drag it out and make it a little more symmetrical um, if you're not happy to it, uh, happy with it. Now be sure you leave some white spaces in there. That's so important that you do that. And then let's go again, let's go up again with another little uh, branch up here. And we're going to do that again. And we're going to just go over this little pot. Now you can, you know, there's other foliages that you can, you can use to create this. Uh, I think this is the easiest one. But, uh, you know, if, there are a lot of things that you can use um, to create a topiary. You just, need, you just need a circle. You just want to stamp it in a circle. I mean, that's basically it. And you can use either green. Doesn't, doesn't matter which green you're using. And you can see mine's a little crooked off to the side, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Kind of adds a little interest. I mean, if everything were straight, um, it, would, it might be a little boring. So there you go. Okay, I'm getting my palette in here, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna add a little green into this pot. Just kind of, uh, I'm just going to kind of finish this up here in the top. And it just looks like the, 
uh, the ground is kind of, you know, the, um, the area in the pot is kind of mounted up a little bit. See how that changed everything? And if you want to, you can add a little extra color in here, kind of mix it up a little bit. It's always fun. And we can add a little more detail um, as we go to. Uh, at the very end, you know, we'll come back and make some changes and add some detail in if we want to, but how fun. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's go on to this one. And we're going to add some foliage in here. And I think I'm gonna add this little, the small vine, this one here. And uh, I think I'm going to add this one also. And I can stamp right over the top of this. So this is dry now, you can tell it's dry because it's kind of a dark blue. And I'm going to now ink this, ink this one. And I think I'll just kind of hang it over like this. And get some more in here like this. And then I'm gonna change up the, the color and use my other green and just add some more of this leafy branch in here. And I've got, you know, I've got some of this hanging down over the edge, so I think I'll just um, add some more green down below. So basically, I just kind of filled in this area. You know, you don't have to worry about how everything is being stamped. That's also the really fun thing about it is um, it's okay if it's not stamped perfect. By the time you add the water to it, you guys, I mean, it's it changes it so much that it doesn't matter if it's stamped a little crooked or wonky. Remember, you're, you're, not, you're not brushing in any, you're not painting. We're just dabbing and softening the lines. We're just softening everything that we've just stamped in here. Okay, so let's go on, let that dry for a little bit, and let's go on and do these, um, these pots down here. So let's pick something different. Uh, let's pick this grass. This is the this is the the long grass, and I'm just gonna kind of fill that in. It's really fun to get different textures. Don't do everything the same. It tends to just kind of blend together. So if you're going to do something that is mostly foliage, you want to be sure and switch up the textures, uh, switch up the um, the look of everything. So you wouldn't want to take this branch maybe and just fill all the containers. It's really hard to see where one begins and the other one ends. So it's really fun to kind of mix it up. Do the topiary, do some branches, do some grasses in one of the pots and just kind of mix it up. Um, okay, let's go on to this one. We'll come back and add color to all of these pots later, but let's get um, let's get all of our foliage in. So I'm going to use my masking tape and just get a piece of this and just cover that pot on the bottom, and then just kind of kind of decide how far up I want those branches to go. And I think um, up here is probably good. So I'm just going to stamp that in between this area here. And I'm just gonna use the, um, I'm gonna use two colors of green. Just gonna mix it on here. And just stamp that. Now I can see where the edge of my, um, my container is, so I can make sure that I'm kind of in that, in that area. Okay, so I've got these little guys in there, and I can come back in and add some uh, foliage to that later if I want to. And let's go on and do this one. So this one we're gonna do with that, um, that palm branch. And let's use the dark green here. And just kind of stamp this just kind of wherever. You can use the tip. So you can just use the tip and kind of put it where you, uh, where you want it. Now, when you're adding water to a palm branch like this, you want to be sure and not uh, touch the spine. 
So you wanna to try to leave that intact, that white line that's kind of in the middle. You wanna leave that intact. So when you're, you're kind of just brushing the water on and kind of leaving that. So in this case, it's really not dabbing. It, it really is brushing, but you're, um, you're going to be careful not to get that center, that center area. Okay, so we've got that in. Uh, let's do something in here, something a little different. What can we do in here? Let's do this little branch or this little um, foliage because we're trying to mix it up. And maybe just something small hanging down. Anybody have any questions so far? Oh, Paula, thank you. You're, she says, Bonnie, thank you. You're so encouraging and your voice so soothing. You make me think I can be like you when I grow up. <laughs> oh, thanks, Paula. That's got to be like one of the best compliments I've ever heard. Thank you so, so much. You know, nobody likes hearing their voice. And I, I can't, you know, when I you know, have to go back and look at the comments and everything. I always turn the volume down so I don't, I don't hear my voice. So that's really encouraging to hear you say that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, let's move on here. Anybody else have any questions so far? Uh, Judy says she's kind of watching, looking from home today. So, oh, working from home today. So it's interrupting my AI lives. <laughs> Darn it, that work anyway. If we just didn't have to do that. Okay, uh, what colors of green are you using? Just two. 249 is a cool green. So you can see this one's got more blue in it. This is a warmer green. So this is a 177. It's a warmer green. And the two together. So you can see I'm kind of mixing these up. You know, I don't have too much of the cool green together. I've kind of, you know, I've got cool green, warm green, warm green. So I'm just kind of mixing it up so it doesn't all look the same. Okay, so let's keep going here. Uh, I'm going to add some branches that kind of go up over this door. I just, you know, I love doing that. So let's just, let's pick this green here. And let's just kind of, you know, keep going up over here. Just kind of stamp this, you know, kind of working our way up the door. And maybe hanging over a little bit. Once you've kind of walked that around, and you can see I've kind of just turned my branch, it really doesn't matter if everything connects and looks perfect because by the time we add the water to it, uh, it really, it's so forgiving that you don't even notice that. So I'm just going to add a few little um, vines in here. Just a you know, just to add a little foliage. And you can just kind of think about, you know, where this, where these little branches end and you're just kind of finishing it off with some vines. You know, you can, you can turn it like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some water now to that. And you can do a little or a lot of this. Um, totally up to you. And I'm just kind of leaving some space for some flowers in here. Um, you know, I just, I can't do a whole painting with no florals. I mean, I've just got a few. So I tried to really focus on the, um, on the foliage, but I just, you know, I got to get just a few, a few little flowers in here. Just have to. Okay. So we've got that. You can see how everything just kind of comes together. I mean, it's so forgiving, you guys. It really is. It's so forgiving. It's really, really hard to mess up. You know, just take your time and think about where you want to put things. 
Um, try to keep things separate. You know, of course, don't don't cross any lines. Um, but other than that, it's pretty it's pretty simple. And the more you do of them, the better at it you're going to get. Now here's the little um, filler flower. So I'm just adding a little of this. I don't know how many times I've used this thing. I mean, I it's it's probably in 90% of um, the things I do. But it just works so well. It's just a really nice background too to add color without anything too definite. all this in here. So let's go ahead, now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and put a little wreath in here. This is so fun to do. And I'm just gonna use this small foliage again, this one. And if you're, if you're not sure about where to put it, you know, and it's a little intimidating to think about, um, you know, to think about um, just stamping it in here, use a pencil. And let me grab my pencil because I just had it. And now it's gone. Okay, I've got it. So draw a little circle in here. Just kind of draw a circle so that you have a guide, you know, as to where you want to put that, um, where you want to put that little wreath. So I'm going to do that. And let's change, let's change out and do this. And, and we can actually do both colors of green. So I'm going to turn my paper and just kind of walk my way around this little wreath. Oops, try to stay on screen here. Okay, and I can go back in now with this green, the, the warm green, and add a little more of this color. So I'm just gonna go back over it again, just again to kind of mix up the colors and just keep turning it. It's easier if you just turn the paper. Okay, so I think I'm back in the center again. And now we can add some water to this. And just touch it. You can kind of see that mix of green in here now. And don't be afraid to, you know, go outside of the lines, add a little color out of, outside of the lines. That's totally fine to do that. And um, you can put anything you want into a wreath. You know, this is a very simple green wreath, but, you know, you could totally change this up for the different seasons. That would be so fun to do. So, you know, just to keep this simple, I'm just going to take my, my dark blue. This is 565. And I'm just going to make a little bow, so two little lines here, and then a couple of loops, and some little things hanging down. I mean, that's it, you guys. Don't stress about this. And you can keep that, just keep that really simple. So let's go up here to the window, since we're right here, uh, and add some more of that blue to the palette. So this is a dark blue, 565. You know, uh, just a reminder too, you know, when you're dipping your brush, you're only dipping the tip. So I don't know if you can see that really clear on here, but you're only dipping the, do not dip your brush all the way in like this and get the metal part of your brush in there. That is too, way too much water and you know, even, even dipping the whole tip in is too much. So you wanna just dip the tip. I mean, you know, you might have to say that to yourself while you're dipping, dip the tip, just the tip, that's it. Uh, because it will just saturate your paper and make it way too wet. So when I'm pinching my brush off, I mean, I just, I've only dipped the very, very point of, um, of my brush. So now, let's do this, this little window. 
and you know, I always make something decorative in here just to add more detail. You know, these little things, they really, really make a difference. And I think it's less intimidating uh, than coloring a whole window. I mean, it really is. Because, you know, when you're coloring this whole window, is it all the same color? This is a pretty large area to color all in the same color. So when you, when you put these little window panes in, I mean, it just kind of removes that stress. And it makes it so cute. So win-win. Definitely a win-win. Don't worry about getting them too perfect. You know, nothing about watercolor really is that precise, especially this technique. You know, it's very forgiving and very loose. So we're just, we're not that careful. Okay, so where are we? Let's keep going here. Um, let's take this off and do this little, this little pot now. So I'm just going to kind of rub this off. Now, I kind of like these little white flowers in here. I think they're really cute, but we don't want to just leave them white. So we want to put just a little blue um, shadow, you know, around, just around them. You know, kind of just around the bottom, just like we would anything else. Just kind of come in, you know, it's going to be darker on the bottom. So your shadows, you know, or your little blue flowers are going to be on the bottom. And if you want to, you could just put a little um, blue, blue center. I think that would be super cute. And let me, let me hold that up so that you can see the detail of that. See how cute those white flowers are? Just love it. You could probably add some more white too with a, um, a white pen, a white pigment pen. That would be really cute too. Uh, okay, let's keep going here. Uh, I'm gonna add just a few more little branches using this. And just kind of, you know, add a few more of these in here just to give it a little extra. Um, to maybe, you know, let's just put something in here too. Okay, I think we've got, do we have all of our foliage done? I think we do. So let's go on to our containers. And we're going to be using blue because most of these containers are white. We're leaving them white. So we're just going to add the blue now to the to the background or to the sides and just kind of drag that color over. You know, making white pots is the simplest. So there's just really nothing to it. You just want to make sure that you get that shadow in here. You know, and make sure the sides, you know, are darker than the center. And I'm just using that same, same dark blue. It just makes such a good uh, shadow. It's just such a good shadow color. And we'll go back in and add some shadows um, later to the whole composition once we're done. We're just kind of getting in the basics still. Same back over here. And this little pot down here, it's not a lot of it that we have to add color to. Now the, the little watering can, let's, let's make that gray. And I'm gonna use this one. So this is an N79. It's a brown gray. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this with my blue. And just, 
just add some color in here. It's just a really nice light gray. It's not overpowering. And let's just mix a little bit of the dark brown with it too. So this is the dark brown, so the 969. And we can just mix in a little of this too. And you can see I'm really focusing the color on the sides. And we can put a little of this color, you know, onto these little rocks now too. And I think I'll take the fine tip of this. So here's that, here's that N79. I'm gonna take the fine tip and I usually don't do this, but in this case, this color is really light. And I'm just gonna color in these, these little hinges. You couldn't really do this with um, a, a super dark gray. Uh, it would be really, really dark. And see, I can actually use it on here too, just to make sure that I've got everything really dark. And actually, let's just, I bet I could just make something decorative on here too using this. I think that works. And let's do that then. Let's add something decorative to, you know, my signature, my signature lines. I do this so much, but I just think it's so cute and simple to just add a little pattern. It doesn't have to be perfect, just the idea of it. And then we can take some of this color and add it to the door. And I think maybe I'll use the 969 and the fine tip and just really darken that. Okay, so let's get some detail in here now. Let's get some detail in on the door. And we're gonna do that with a pencil and a ruler. So here's one of my favorite tools, a little six inch ruler. If you don't have one of these, these are so handy to have. They're small, so they're easy to maneuver. And you can just, uh, they just work great on these little projects. So I'm gonna use a pencil, so just a plain pencil. And it's easier to start in the center uh, because you kind of know where you're where you're going here. So I'm just going to make a little line in the center, just like that. Not super dark. And then um, I'm going to just kind of go over from here. And you can make these little boards, you know, as wide as you want. And then just kind of split the difference here. You know, and the nice thing about a pencil too is you can erase it. If you really hate it, um, you, can, you can erase it. So I'm just gonna turn this now so that I can see where I'm going here. It's easier for me to see this direction. You know, and if they're not perfect, again, you know, I say that so many times, but honestly, you guys, it really doesn't matter if it's perfect. It really doesn't. And somebody that gets something like this, because I know the majority of you, you make things to give away. And you you buy this product and you make cards and you make, you know, beautiful compositions so that you can give it to someone and cheer them up. And I guarantee you, they are not going to care if your lines aren't perfect. They're going to be so thankful um, that you created something beautiful like this. 
Okay, so now that we've got that done, uh, we can take a little water and soften these lines. Now, this is a cool thing about pencil too, is you can do that. You can just soften the lines a little bit and it looks like um, you brushed it on. Okay, I think that looks really cute. And now we can take our, um, we can take that gray again. So here's that gray and let's do something else. So let's start in the center of our steps here. And the center line is going to be straight. You know, when you're thinking about, you know, how something angles out and perspective, the center line is gonna be straight, straight up and down. And now as we go, now you can split the difference here, split the difference, and then split the difference. And then put another one here and here. Okay, did that make sense? Split the difference, split the difference. And you've got your little angles. And then you can also, um, you know, make a little crack. Just make it, make these really dark here where these stones are kind of separate. And it'll look like they're a little more rounded. So basically we've just kind of created a little stone uh, landing here. Okay, let me hold that up so you can see. So we started with that center. So in the center of the door, you know, somewhere in the center, close to the center, you wanna make that straight line here and here. So here's the, here's the top part and here's the, the part that angles down. And then just kind of split that difference here and here, and here and here. And that's, your, that's really your angle. It's super, super easy. And then this step here, we can just put in a little shadow where it kind of overhangs. And we can do that with some blue and some gray. So it looks like this step is really hanging over here. And then this up here, you know, this is gonna be pretty dark up here. You know, and don't, don't be afraid to just mix a little color. You know, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't have to be all the same. Just mix a little color from your palette and you know, in between here where this is kind of rounded, just put a little color and you've got a really cute little stone landing. And then down in here, let's add our, let's add our grasses down in here. So here's the tiny grass and I'm just gonna just kind of walk some of it here. Just kind of in between these these little stones and then dip your brush you know the grass is you know really the only place that you have permission to make a brush stroke i mean except for the the pine or the um palm trees. So you want to pull that grass, you know, up and up and out. And if you want it to look like it's, you know, it kind of looks like it's overgrown. I mean, these pots are just full of stuff and it looks like it's kind of a, um, a little country door. So when you put these tall grasses in, you kind of give the impression that it's a little overgrown and like these, like this one. So you can see the difference here. Now this looks more trimmed, but when you put these kind of put in, put in these tall grasses, it just kind of looks like things are, you know, kind of overgrown which I just love. I love that. And I love these little um, accent grasses because you can stamp them over things. So you're not, you're not fighting with the lines. You know, sometimes, you know, when we're doing these things, we have to be careful that we don't stamp over dark lines because they show through. But with these little accent grasses, let me show you which one that is. It's these little accent grasses here. The one that kind of goes to the left, the one that kind of goes to the right. You know, you can use parts of it too. So you can, you can do just a little area 
so shorter and taller. And you can stamp over the top, see over the top of these. And you know, they're really cute up in, you know, up in things like this too. It just makes everything seem a little um, overgrown and just a little more loose. And then you really don't need a lot of water with this. You really don't need a lot. You can, you can come into the bottom a little bit, but um, they're much better to just kind of be left as an accent. So just like that. Okay, what else do we need to do here? Let's put a little, um, some little shadows in. And don't, don't let this intimidate you. Uh, just, you know, the easiest way is to just put a few little brush strokes in. Uh, the door, you know, all of this area here, you know, in here is going to have some shadow kind of hanging down over it. Under here, this will be uh, anything that's white. You want to kind of mess up a little bit because um, it shouldn't just be white. You know, these little branches are kind of going to have a little shadow on the door. And you know, if, if, if this part's a little intimidating, just, just do a little bit. Just do a little bit until you get kind of get your courage up a little bit. And you know, you just don't overthink it. And we could, we could actually um, just put a little shadow behind um, behind this little bow too. Just think about uh, everything, you know, as it's coming down, anything that has a ledge uh, or an edge is going to have a little shadow under it. So let's put, uh, let's attach this little guy somewhere. Um, he kind of needs to be hanging. So here's a ruler again. Start in the center. It's always easier to start in the center, for me especially. And I would, I would go straight up above this because it kind of gives you the impression that it's hanging from the ceiling. Like there's a, an overhang over the door because you know the door is attached to a structure. It wouldn't be standing out in the middle of nowhere. So it does tell your eye that this just keeps going up. And then I would just kind of split the difference here. And again, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Trusty pencil, you guys. Pencil is the best. And I'm going to just darken underneath here. Even though this is a dark brown, we would still see a shadow under there. And we could take now, um, so here's that warm green. We could take a little of this, this little vine, and just add a little more detail in here. I mean, this... This is the fun part of these little projects. Like they just, they're so different every time. Even if you just use the same colors, uh, every time you stamp this, it's, it's just gonna be different. And it's, you know, it's not scary because the foundation is done and all you have to do is just kind of fill in the blanks. And once you kind of learn how to stamp these things, you know, these little vines and grasses, like they're just in everything. So you get really good at stamping them and then that takes the stress out of it. It's supposed to be a relaxing hobby. And then add a little water. Into here. And I think 
Are we getting close to being done with this little guy? Can darken those. Anywhere, you know, of course, now that we can see to darken, I'm going to get my fine tip here, my little fine tip, and just come underneath these little hinges, you know, where that would have a, a dark edge. And in here, this little detail in here. You know, especially these little stones. This is where you can really add a little, a lot of detail is in here where um, the stones look like they're rounded. It's really fun to do that. And it just, it just kind of changes everything, changes the whole look. Okay, I think... Uh, let's, let's do one more thing here. I'm going to drag some of this color out because I want to see a shadow back here. You know, this is a structure, you know, this is attached to a, uh, to a building. So I'm just going to drag a little of this color out just to give that impression. And just pull some of this. To the outside. I love this anyway. I love doing this anyway. I think it just adds so much. Okay, and I think, I mean, it really is done now, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to sign it, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to switch my camera back around. If you would like to have this, I will happily give it to you. So just comment, um, just comment sometime between now and, um, and I'll, I won't pick a winner yet. I'll just wait in case you are um, watching this later. I'll wait till tomorrow to pick a winner and just uh, tell me that you would like to have it. That's all you have to do. And we'll do a drawing and we'll pick a winner and I'll send it to you. And I hope you guys will give this a try. Um, the rubber will work the exact same way. So there's no difference you know, as far as using the rubber and the clear. So let me uh, switch this around now. Let me just see, uh, anybody have any questions about anything while I've got my, um, while I've got my iPad right here and see if there are any questions um, on what I used or how I used it. Um, Okay, so many people want to have this, you guys. I will happily be happy to pick you. Uh, we'll just do a drawing. We'll put your names in, and we'll pick a winner. And I'll do this every time um, so that you get one. Okay, you guys, I'm going to switch my phone around. And get back on here again. Okay, I'm back. Um, anybody have any questions? Uh, let me grab my iPad here and see if there are any questions that you guys might have about that tutorial. I am going to do the chairs too. So uh, next week, there will be a new release. So I hope you will jump on Facebook uh, next week, next Wednesday live. I'll have a new release for you and I will do a demo of that release. But I will get those chairs. Uh, I will get a, a video of those chairs the last of the foundations onto you too. Uh, Debbie Hedges, enjoy your beach day. I will. I totally will. Um, okay, you guys, I don't see any questions. Um, thank you for all your comments. Um, new release next week, so check that out. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next Wednesday for another Wednesday Live with a new relief. Don't forget uh, on our website, the SKU plus the R, if you see that the foundations are out of stock, uh, click on the SKU with the R behind it. Those are the rubber, rubber ones, the cling rubber, and um, you can order those right now. All right, thank you so much, and I will see you guys all next week.